EV maker, this time in China, the world's top auto market is now going out of business. 90% of the manufacturers may face insolvency. You know how we've been hearing that China is doing great with electrical vehicle adoption and sales? Well, it seems like things might not be as rosy as they appear. Some pretty crazy stuff is happening in China, with reports surfacing about several incidents of EVs catching fire. To make matters worse, the Chinese government seems to be working hard to keep these incidents under wrap. But the truth is, if these reports are true, it could have serious consequences for many Chinese EV manufacturers. They might end up facing financial difficulties and even bankruptcy. Join us as we take a look at this situation and how it could bankrupt 90% of Chinese car makers. China's dominance as the world's largest market for electric vehicles is undeniable, with domestic manufacturers such as BYD surpassing renowned brands like Tesla in terms of sales. However, amidst this success, there is an intriguing aspect that has largely gone unnoticed. Reports have emerged over the past year, revealing that more than 19,000 EVs have caught fire in China. Interestingly, the leading EV manufacturer, BYD, has been involved in the largest number of fire incidents. However, it's important to note that other players in the Chinese EV market have also experienced electric car fires to varying degrees. For example, in an alarming incident that occurred last year in Fuzhou, Jiangxi, a privately owned car parked on the side of the road unexpectedly burst into flames. Disturbing videos captured the harrowing moment when the car's door and shattered glass fragments were forcefully propelled onto the street, narrowly avoiding a pedestrian. There's also a video of two women in China that went viral on mainland social media after they jumped out of a moving electric car. The video shows two women who made a daring decision to jump out of a moving electric car while traveling on a highway. The incident took place in Zhejiang province, located in eastern China. Reports from Star Video shed further light on the incident, explaining that the viral video depicts a black electric car gradually reducing its speed while the emergency lights flash intermittently. Suddenly, to the surprise of onlookers, both the drivers and front passengers' doors swing open, and the women promptly leap out of the moving vehicle. So what could be the reason behind these incidents? It appears that many Chinese EV makers are compromising on quality in an attempt to reduce costs. The Beijing Institute of Technology BIT, has conducted research shedding light on the causes of EV fires in China. According to BIT, there are distinct factors contributing to fire incidents in both winter and summer. During winter, difficulties arise in preheating the battery, which can lead to a higher risk of overheating during the charging process. While during the summer, the higher ambient temperatures exacerbate the risk of overheating. When combined with potential issues related to battery cooling systems, the heat can push EVs beyond safe operating temperatures, leading to fire hazards. The researchers also said that the widespread use of low-cost electric vehicles in the Chinese EV industry could be a major cause of these fires. These affordable EVs have played a significant role in building the largest circulating fleet of electric cars in the world. However, the emphasis on cost reduction by manufacturers may have inadvertently led to compromises in terms of safety and quality. The intricate nature of electric vehicles, with their complex battery systems and high voltage components, demands meticulous engineering and stringent safety standards. Any compromises made in these areas can have severe consequences, such as an increased likelihood of fire incidents. Zhang Xiang, the dean of the New Energy Vehicle Technology Research Institute at Jiangxi New Energy Technology Vocational College, addressed the safety concerns surrounding new energy vehicles in an interview with Securities Daily. He emphasized that one of the primary safety issues faced by these vehicles is the risk of spontaneous combustion, fire, or battery explosions. The critical aspect lies in determining whether the battery can guarantee safety even when subjected to deformation or compression. In the midst of these concerns, a Chinese company called CATL has come under scrutiny due to allegations that its technology may contribute to car fires. Interestingly, CATL's market value surpasses that of renowned automotive giants General Motors and Ford combined.
Beijing's support for CATL through generous subsidies and lenient regulatory treatment has enabled the company to play a significant role in developing essential electric vehicle EV, technology. CATL is a major supplier of electric batteries to numerous Chinese automakers. There is a massive market pressure to compete on price in China's highly competitive electric vehicle industry. And so, manufacturers strive to offer affordable electric cars to capture a larger market share. In trying to do this, they may have been compelled to make compromises that affect the overall safety and reliability of the vehicles. In addition to the concerns about subpar materials, the pressure faced by some automakers in China has led them to sell their cars to car-shaping companies. However, what's disheartening is that these vehicles often end up being neglected and left to deteriorate outdoors after just a few weeks on the road. Reports from the Chinese media shed light on a troubling situation where a significant number of un unused electric cars were discovered parked alongside a river on the outskirts of Hangzhou. These cars are believed to be owned by a company called Microcity, which operates an electric car sharing service. When questioned about the state of these vehicles, Microcity responded by claiming that the cars were still in use. However, investigations conducted by the media painted a different picture. Attempts to book a ride through the company's official app resulted in no available cars found in the vicinity, raising doubts about the company's claims. The the report also includes interviews with local villagers who shed further light on the situation surrounding Microcity's abandoned electric cars. One villager stated that Microcity has been compensating them with a payment of 30,000 yuan or more per year since 2018 for the use of the parking area. This suggests that the company has an established agreement with the villagers to utilize their land for parking the electric cars. Adding to the intrigue, another villager mentioned that she attempted to visit the area out of curiosity but was denied entry. The reasons behind denying access to the area are not specified, leaving room for speculation and heightening concerns about the transparency and management of the situation. It is unclear whether the denial of entry was a decision made by Microcity or if there are other factors at play. All these go to show that Elon Musk was right when he said it wasn't easy to build a profitable EV business. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that while it may be relatively easier to create an EV prototype, scaling up production to meet market demand poses significant difficulties. In his statements, Musk specifically discussed the performance of several Chinese electric vehicle companies, shedding light on the unique obstacles they face. One notable mention is BYD, which has proven to be a formidable contender in the market and has successfully generated net profits. With its diversified portfolio and investments in areas beyond EVs, such as energy storage solutions, BYD has demonstrated its ability to adapt to the evolving market dynamics. Musk also highlighted the progress of other Chinese EV manufacturers like NIO, Xpeng, and Polestar. These companies have gained attention and market share due to their innovative technologies, stylish designs, and compelling features. However, they currently face difficulties in achieving profitability, primarily due to high production costs, intense competition, and the need to invest heavily in research and development. Based on recent data, it is evident that companies like BYO, NIO, Xpeng, and Polestar are indeed grappling with profitability and maintaining a healthy cash flow. Most importantly, they're also struggling with product quality. These incidents will no doubt damage the integrity of the Chinese brands, especially as they aim to expand into international markets in the coming years. If these companies fail to address these issues effectively, it could mark the beginning of the end for many of them. And unfortunately, some are already grappling with financial difficulties. The statistics reveal a notable decline in the number of active companies in the Chinese EV industry. Back in 2018, there were over 487 new electric vehicle companies in China, each vying for a piece of the market. However, fast forward to 2023, and only around 40 companies remain operational. This signifies that over 400 companies have vanished from the scene, with more than 90% of the car companies going bankrupt. What do you think about this news? Let us know down in the comments section.